Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. I wanted to tell you about my new book, Anything is Possible. It's seven steps for doing the impossible. And the subtitle says, Mind Expanding Secrets for Achieving Your Biggest, Boldest, Most Bodacious Goals, Discovered While Bending Nails, Bolts, Bars, and Horseshoes by Hand. And that photo of me on the cover is me holding a pile of nails, horseshoes, steel, steel bars, all solid metal, all real that I bent by hand. And I did it with these seven steps. I learned from strong men and strong women how to do it. And my conclusion is anything is possible. So I wrote this book as a manifesto for optimism. I wrote this book to show you that there are seven steps for doing the impossible, for virtually anything. So if there are things that you want to have, do, or be, that you've been trying to attract or achieve and accomplish, maybe you haven't because you're missing one of the steps. So this is a book about going for it. It's a manifesto to awaken your heart. It's a manifesto for op optimists. It's a manifesto for adventurers. It's a manifesto for people who really really want to feel the gusto of life. I'm assuming that's you. The book's on Amazon in paperback in Kindle and the book has already got five star reviews. I'm looking at a few of them right now. One person says, deviation from your typical law of attraction material. This is an actual success manual. Another person says, a step-by-step -step practical and proven guide to total success. And another person says, a life-changing book. And thank you all of the, you for that and um, for the encouragement, for the applause. The book's a bestseller. It's already jumped up the list. However, there's always a skeptic. There's always a critic. There's always a doubter. I posted about this book on my Facebook fan page, and somebody posted a question, a very flippant one, and I'll paraphrase it because I don't have it in front of me, but it was basically to the effect, what about if you lose an arm or a leg or an eye? Can you regrow it? Can you regenerate it? Can you bring it back or grow a new one? And of course they were saying, no, no way, that's impossible, and that was their evidence for impossibility. And my first thought was, why would anybody argue for their limitations? Why would anybody argue or create an excuse for not applying or going for their dreams by stretching to locate such an extreme example of a perceived impossibility? And then I thought, well, let me Google and find out if anybody's trying to regenerate and regrow limbs. And as it turns out, there are. There are scientists working on it right now, and they're right at the edge of discovery. They believe that right now, during modern times, we're going to find ways to regrow limbs, to regenerate them. It's not me saying this. It's the scientists saying this. And you can Google search it yourself and find it. And then I know that there's things going on right now where people are using 3D printers to create new limbs for people that have been in wars or kids in Africa that have lost their limbs because of accidents or conflict. This is happening now. Then I started to wonder, is anything really impossible? I know if you thought about it, you'd probably come up with some questions or examples that would stump me for a little bit. But here's my bottom line philosophy. There's always a way. Somebody at some time is going to create a solution or an invention, or find a discovery to do what we previously thought was impossible. Now, my book title says anything is possible. I'm not going to say it's happening. I'm not going to say it happened, but I'm saying this is a mindset. If you believe anything is possible, you're more likely to go for your dreams. You're more likely to stretch. You're more likely to actually achieve or attract or accomplish the very thing you're looking for. The seven steps for doing the impossible that I put in here are unique. And in fact, they're unlike anything I've ever written before. I was in the movie The Secret. We know about formulas in there. I wrote a famous book called The Attractor Factor. There's a five-step formula in there. But this one for achieving anything, anything is possible. And and the seven steps for doing the impossible is unique, is different, and there's at least one step you've never heard of before. So I wanted to make this video as a little conversation with you. There's nobody else here. I have no cue cards. There's no green screen. It's me. It's my library. It's my book. This is all <laughs> one take recording. If I flub, I flub. This is how it's going to go when we post it on YouTube. My call, my urgency is for you to have a more optimistic mindset, for you to actually go for your dreams. Face it. What's the alternative? 
You got to think pessimistically. You got to be sad. You got to be a victim. You got to give up. You're not going to try. What is the alternative? Death. The walking death. What I want you to do is awaken. I want you to be alive. I was homeless one time. I was in poverty for 10 years. I've had accomplishments with books, with speaking, with movies, with TV, with music, with magic, with acting, with, I'm trying to think of all the different examples, with strongman training. How did I do all of this? I'm not unique. There's all kinds of stories of people doing the perceived impossible because they applied steps like this. There's probably other steps. I've got seven of them in this book. And because they persisted, maybe they got in a mastermind group, maybe they got a mentor or a coach, but whatever it is, they succeeded and you can too. I'm here to light a fire under your butt and say, go for it. I'm here to sell a book. Yes, I want you to go buy my book. Anything is possible. It's in paper, obviously. It's on Kindle. It's at Amazon right now. But more importantly, I want you to awaken. I want you to feel that fire in your heart. I want you to have that spring in your step. I want you to have, do, or be whatever you want. And the way to do it is by getting up and going for it. So, yeah, I'm an author and I want you to buy my book, but I also want you to go out there and live and be an inspiration to others. When you awaken and I awaken and the neighbors awaken and everybody that's watching us and modeling us and curious or confused by us all start awakening, we can make the planet a bountiful sprout of beauty and wonder and magic and miracles. Yeah, call me a dreamer too. But I'm getting things done. Your turn. Go get the book. Anything is possible. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. Expect miracles. You can expect crap if you like. It's your choice. But expecting miracles is a far more juicy way to live. Thanks.